violent crime all caught on camera. He says he was attacked by several teenagers when he tried to stop them from stealing from his store. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live with uh, the news on several arrests, though, made in this case. Roy. Christy, yes, we just got new information from Miami Beach Police, and they tell us that five arrests have been made. But when I spoke with the victim in this case, he tells me he witnessed a theft happen in his store. And when he went outside to confront the suspects, well, they attacked him. The police. Cell phone video recorded by a man who'd just been attacked, capturing the sound of a scuffle, followed by the victim screaming for someone to call police. <laughs> This surf style employee who asked us not to show his face said it was just before four in the afternoon last Tuesday. This group of women were captured on the store surveillance cameras stealing vape pens before he said they walked out without paying. The victim said he was charging other customers when he witnessed the theft and walked out to take video of them when his cell phone is hit out of his hand and he begins to get pummeled. He tells me someone strikes him from behind and then everyone starts hitting him. It depicted the defendant striking the victim as mentioned above. In Hold on, that's a sister, man. These on breeders, man. And they picked up a sister. Look at these. These is on breeders right here. And they arrested a sister. That doesn't make any sense, man. And were captured on the store surveillance camera Look. stealing vape pens before he said girls. they walked out. These are on breeders, right? Right? Am I, am I tripping? That's what it looks like. Yeah, they're Latinas. Yeah, but look at this one. That's a sister. That's a motherfucking sister, man. Oh, she must have been on. She must have been the one that, like the the Latinas, probably just didn't didn't assault the guy. And the sister, the the sister probably was the one that beat his ass. Shock. Defendant striking the victim as mentioned above. In Bond Court Friday, 26-year-old Rashida Murphy, who Miami Beach police said was captured on video, hitting the victim. But in court, her attorney claimed she was coming to the defense of the women who she believed were being attacked. If anything, it looks like she's defending. Okay, so she she saw the women, the 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 Umbridas getting into it with the fucking store clerk, and she came over there and went in the full fucking sister mode to start kicking his ass. Okay. That makes sense, because I didn't see her on camera. Did you see her on camera? I don't see her on camera here. She's not one of these girls that I see. Unless this is her. Is this her? Oh, this might be her. Okay. So that's her right there. Okay. I see, I, I'm starting to put it together. The women from whatever incident she's not knowing what's going on while well, that judge found probable cause and issued a five thousand dollar bond it is this employee now left with five thousand dollar bond she's defending the women from whatever incident she's not knowing what's going on while that judge found probable cause and issued a $5,000 bond, it is this employee now left with severe cuts to his face and head and bruises to his back and arm. It's a danger to the community based on her actions and a bond is appropriate. They're going to start wow. GoFundMe's for their bonds. <laughs> so she just sees some people getting in. She's in the store as well. And she sees some... Latina girls get into it with a um, burrito, um clerk, store clerk, and she just dumps it and starts kicking the shit out of the guy. <laughs> Yo, that's bizarre, man. If it was like, I get it, sons. She's a son. Don't get me wrong, I get it, but god damn, that's bizarre, man. You know what I mean? Like the propensity. The the to go from zero to sixty, like oh I'm just shopping. Oh shit, there's some there's loud talking. Oh, the clerk's into it with these girls. Oh, uh, let me just go over there and beat the fucking shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's just crazy, man. Sensational. <laughs> just.
Yes, some dude says, does anyone else have the black national anthem playing in the head with sons of beef? <laughs> oh, shit, man. He now left with severe wow. cuts to his face and head and bruises to his back and arm. She's a danger to the community based on her actions and a bond is appropriate. And of the five people arrested, we are told that four of them are juveniles that are now facing charges that include petty theft to battery or simple battery. For now, on Miami Beach. So now the juveniles who did the stealing, they get petty theft, which is they're going to be prosecuted, no paper. So they'll probably never even see a, uh, you know, a trial date or nothing for that stupid shit. And this fucking black chick is fucking got a fucking charge. Something's wrong with that, <laughs> man. Hey, Sunfire or oh, Rubber do it too. Yeah. in Southwest Miami Day. That's where police say both a man and a woman were shot early this morning in a car. Both victims later showing up to the hospital. And local 10 a news reporter Annalise Garcia is joining <laughs> South Medical Center. She has the latest on the condition of the victims and the search for a shooter. Annalise. Christy Janice, and we know that these two victims did drive themselves to this hospital. This is Ryder Trauma Center at Jackson South. They arrived here, and there was a large scene for quite some time outside of the entrance of the emergency room. Now, police are searching for a female suspect. This is 29-year-old Robert Hardin Jr., one of the victims of a shooting in Southwest Miami-Dade. Family tells us Hardin was in the car on his way home with his girlfriend, Michelle Mitchell. That's when another car with a female driver pulled up next to them and started shooting at them. Family tells us Hardin was shot in the back and that he needs to go into surgery. As for his girlfriend, police say she was grazed in the face by a bullet. The two drove themselves from the scene of the shooting near West Perrine to Ryder Trauma Center at Jackson South. Crime scene investigators seen here looking into the victim's car. A clear bullet hole seen in the back left side window. Our camera's rolling as Mitchell walked out of the hospital with a bandage on her face. She spoke to detectives and parked her car in the lot of the hospital, then went back inside. Sky 10 captured the scene from above. Crime scene tape blocking the entrance to the emergency room. Hardin is in serious condition, but his family says he was able to speak. Now again, that female suspect is still at large according to police if you were in the area if you know anything at all you are urged to give them a call women do 